BC based company and we're finally coming to Toronto. We're really, really excited about it. And uh, yeah, all natural things for anything from headaches, colds and flus, upset stomach, stress, uh, jet lag, kind of you name it and we've got something that's natural to a natural solution for it. Yorkdale on the 18th of September so uh, we're really excited it's a great step for us coming from Montreal and growing so fast um, so it's all the rock paper photo images are going to be available as well the capsule collection available in, in the 20th of September 20th of September what's on the menu today Today we have Chibo's uh, very popular dish. It's orecchiette with sausage and rapini. We're using Barilla orecchiette today. It's Italy's number one and oldest uh, pasta brand. We are a hair accessory brand, um, and so we're just here to promote the spin pins. Um, the spin pins, and we have our hairstylist Brendan uh, doing hair. It just, it's a, it's a great way to sort of do your hair in a bun. I have them in right now. Um, and so it's it's a bobby pin that does the work of 20 bobby pins. So we're really excited about it. It's been out for a while. When it first came out, it was so well received. So we're going to do a big launch, a relaunch of it, and, and push it out more um, and show the different hairstyles you can do because you don't only just have to do a bun. Socks. Um, we launched in 2012. We're based in Toronto. Uh, so everything is designed in house in Toronto. We manufacture them over in Turkey. We're selling in about 1,200 retail stores, most notably launching in Hudson Bay Company for fall uh, right now. And you can also buy them at yosocks.com. We were born in 2008. We have over 130 stores. We're North America. And David's Tea, there's something for everyone. We have over 150 teas. We have fair trade, we have organic, literally something for everyone. We're kind of new to the Canadian market, so we're kind of trying to, to push them a bit. Uh, I think elderflower in general is a, is, a, is a flavor that's not so big in North America, but in Europe obviously it's huge and has been for a long time, so I think we're trying to sort of push that. 